Hello all, in this video we will see how to read potentiometer analog reading from Arduino and display it on next gen uh, display. Open next gen editor and then file new, provide a fi file name to create uh, .hmi file. Select the model, mine is 400 by 240, 3.2 inch and I am selecting horizontal orientation. First generate a font file using font generator of uh, next gen editor by selecting uh, size and then type. It is stored as uh, .zi file. Add uh, this file to project and from uh, left hand side bottom uh, click on picture tab and then click on plus symbol to import the 400 by 240 resolution background image and from the toolbox uh, click on picture so that it is uh, it appears on canvas and against attribute of uh, picture uh, double click now it is not double click you have to browse and uh, select the uh, picture of resolution 400 by 240 now select a slider tool and uh, drop it on uh, canvas by default this slider is uh, horizontal orientation if you want from attributes you can change it to uh, vertical orientation the other attributes are uh, the color of the slider by default it is green and the knob of the slider is gray, uh, red if you want you can change the color and the value let us uh, change the minimum value from uh, 0 and then maximum value to 100 now click a number from toolbox and drop it on canvas the slider uh, click on slider now it has got uh, three events one is the touch event second uh, release event and the third one is the move event click on that uh, touch move event and then feed in this code n0.val equal to h0.val as you type on you can get the intelligence you can select it now click on debug and then see the result if you slide the slider knob the value will uh, change on the number now under attribute of uh, uh, slider let us change the maximum value to 1023 as analog read of uh, arduino is from 0 to 1023 uh, we'll do this and then click on debug if you slide the slider the value will change from 0 to 1023 under uh, attribute you can change the orientation of uh, slider to vertical click on uh, vertical against direction and then resize the slider to vertical now click on debug you can see the effect by sliding the slider the value will change from 0 to 1023 close the simulator and then uh, click on compile then click on upload for uploading tft file onto display we use usb to ttl method uh, sd card method can also be used you can check my previous video on how to do this select the com port of usb to ttl and then select a border rate you select a higher border rate and then click on uh, ok the tft file will be uploaded onto the next gen display next we'll see the arduino side at arduino we have connected the potentiometer center pin to a0 one end of potentiometer to 5 volt and other end to ground and inside the arduino ide we declare uh, a integer value pots uh, pot pin uh, as a0 and under uh, wide loop we assign the analog read a0 to integer value and then we send a string n0.value equal to that analog value that is n0 is the object name of a number and then we send it as a string followed by 3 hex ff this is a must and then after this do not use any print line on any other print command that will affect the display now click on upload to upload the code onto Arduino remember to disconnect uh, wires at rx tx of uh, arduino board while uploading the code once the code is uploaded connect the rx wire of arduino to tx of uh, uh, display next gen display and tx of arduino to rx and ground to ground and uh, supply to vcc potentiometer center pin as at a0 now if you vary the potentiometer you can see the number uh, value changing from 0 to 1023 this is the analog, analog read potentiometer value from arduino to next gen display now this uh, slider is not moving uh, let us make a change in arduino code so that the slider will move according to the variation of the potentiometer uh, the n0 object we have to click the n0 object virtually for this you send this uh, 
string click space n0 comma 1 that is uh, the touch event uh, is represented as 1 and then we send the click command on n0 this will virtually click the n0 object instead of uh, physically touching we just uh, uh, click it from Arduino and then we send the three uh, hex ff this is a must for uh, uh, next gen commands and then upload the Arduino code and uh, inside the next gen editor you click on the n0 object we have to feed this code under touch event already we have clicked it from uh, Arduino code now under touch event you feed in this code uh, that is h0.val equal to n0.val the, the slider value the number value will be reflected on the uh, h0 that is the slider value you can uh, click on compile on uh, next gen editor and then click upload before that you have to connect the next gen display to usb to ttl device uh, click on upload the tft file will be uploaded onto uh, next gen display remove the usb to ttl uh, device and then connect the next gen display to arduino rx to tx tx to rx and then ground to ground vcc to 5 volt if you vary the potentiometer you can change the no value changing from 0 to 1023 and accordingly the slider uh, red knob will move according to the value on the number thank you for watching